Zippity doo da, zippity day. My oh my, what a beautiful day. Well, this is uh, Nick Faldo. He's going to make his last appearance oh. at the Open Championship this year, St Andrews. It is where he won his his second Open title in 1990, a winner of six major titles, which includes three Masters titles as well. A true golfing legend. He hasn't always been everybody's cup of tea, but there's no getting away from the fact that this guy is a legend. Overused word, but with him, very, very appropriate. If you look at some of the people that have won more than him, um, well, Jack's won 18, Tiger 14, Gary Player uh, 9, Arnold Palmer, I say only 7. Uh, you think it'd be more than that. But just to put it into context, Phil Mickelson has only won five, mm. Ernie Els four, and Rory McIlroy is on four as well. You so. read it there, though, the three masters. Sorry? I mean, that's, a, that, you know, yeah. that's the prime tournament, isn't it, that people want to? It is. They do say that the masters is the one tournament because it's the, the one major that's played at the same golf course all the time. He's not it's the most... He started, suit your game. He started his golf at Pan's Hangar. Uh, and Wellen, there that's you right. go. Wellen Garden City. Yeah, he's an awful underboy. He's not the uh, he's not the nicest of persons. With the greatest respect, Nick. I've just always say it, he's been absolutely fantastic to me. Personality aside, just looking at what he's achieved in the game. Um, he's not the friendliest, not nastiest, friendliest. Look, when you, when it comes to assessing sporting greatness and what you attribute, you know, what moniker you put to that, I don't believe that personality has anything to do with it. You can talk about, you know, it, it in the round, but when you're actually just talking about his sporting prowess, yeah. I don't believe that has anything. You know, and that's what we're relevance. talking about here. Um, yeah, I understand some people might not want to invite him out for a drink or round to theirs for dinner, but if we're talking great and legendary golfers, you have to talk about Nick Fowler. Uh, just before I go, yes. funny little story yesterday. I uh, got into a, a, a taxi. My dear friend Peter is a black cab driver from Islington. So uh, we got in and he said, oh, I've, I've been listening to you occasionally on Talk Sport. I was like, nice. He goes, I've got to be honest with you. I absolutely love Alan Brazil. He sounds like one of your mates. He does sound sometimes like he's just got in from a party. No. But he's always, <laughs> he's always bang on. I absolutely love him. And then he went on to say, but you know what? As soon as he finishes... Uh, I turn on the music because that other Scottish guy comes on. <laughs> Scottish guy! <laughs> the other Scottish guy comes on. Whoa! Good morning, Colin. <laughs> oh, you have the right arm. Uh, Spinney, thank you very much. Absolute pleasure. Have a great day, mate. Take care. Uh, Jonathan now, uh, 7.23. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, Stephanie. I have to say that. No, I don't have to say that. It's my daughter's uh, birthday today. Then so. you have to say it. And she's going to be a doctor. So, good girl. 7.24. Down to about Spinney. Thank you. Down to Bartley's. Here comes Hank. Talk Sport Business Bulletin with Virgin Media Business Pitch to Rich. Tell Richard Branson about your business idea and you could win a share of £1 million. Find out more at pitchtorich.co.uk. Hank, a very good morning. Blue skies over Canary Wharf. Beautiful in Canary Wharf. I mean, that is a wise move by you, Mr. Brazil, isn't it? What's that? Investing in Stephanie, getting her to become a doctor. <laughs> if anyone's going to need a doctor Specializing in Specialising kidneys and livers. It is going to be you, isn't it? That, that, that is very good forward thinking from you. Nice <laughs> to see. Uh, I nearly gave you a ring yesterday, Mr. Potts. Did I was you? sitting outside Browns and it was stunning. It was lovely out there yesterday. And I thought, it's a Monday, I better leave you alone. Well, you know, some of us have a harder start to the week than others, it has to be said. I know you. What, what time were you there? Well, this was uh, three ish, around oh, three. A little bit late for you, a little bit late for you. You're normally banging on the doors at around quarter past ten. So well, I, I, I will try you later today. So if you uh, tidy up your desk around one o'clock. Because you're an early riser as well, aren't you? This is true, this is true. Early to bed, early to rise. That's so the one. Haven't got the healthy or wise bit yet. Yeah, knock back a couple of... Uh, Working what on they? the wealthy. Uh, well, the milk thistles, that's what you need, Hank. <laughs> uh, and I'll ring you later. Cheers, boys. Hank. The Alan Brazil Sports Breakfast. zippity doo da zippity day My, oh my, what a beautiful day Molly and horses coming my way only four hours, magical play. The Alan Brazil Sports Breakfast. On Talk Sport. The Alan Brazil Sports Breakfast. On Talk Sport. One and a half million pounds a year for nothing. Alan Brazil. 